Hey Florida Travelers, Krista here, and the Mount Dora Art Festival is an event that I look forward to every year. So if you are thinking of checking it out, I'll go over all of the details to help you plan your visit. For the last 46 years, the Mount Dora Art Festival has brought in artists from all across the country to showcase their amazing work in downtown Mount Dora. In normal years, the Mount Dora Art Festival features almost 300 artists, but in 2021, they only had 100 select artists with booths spread much farther apart to promote social distancing. I love attending this art festival and I make it a point to attend every year. So if you are thinking of going in future years, here are a few things to know before you go. The event runs on Saturday and Sunday on the first weekend of February, or in other words, it's usually Super Bowl weekend. I love going to this event as early as possible and there's a couple reasons why. First, it's easier to find parking. There is limited parking in downtown Mount Dora, so if you're wanting the best opportunity to find free parking, then you'll want to arrive as early as you can. The event starts at 9 a.m., so I'd like to try to get there around 8 or 8.30. This gives me time to grab a cup of coffee at one of the cafes downtown, like One Flight Up, for instance, and just wait for the event to open up. But I'm usually a morning person anyway, so I wake up pretty early on a regular basis. If you are not a morning person, then you can still find parking, but just be prepared to walk a little further or pay for parking. There are quite a few businesses and homeowners in the area that will allow you to park there for a flat fee. So there's definitely a lot of options if you're not wanting to get there super early. Just make sure to check the signage before you leave your car behind. Once you're there, you'll find that the event is spread out along a few different blocks in downtown Mount Dora. Now, the footprint for the event in 2021 is a lot smaller than it has been in past years because of the pandemic. There are usually back-to-back -back artists that are lined the streets much further than you are seeing here. Which brings me to the next reason why I love going to this event as early as possible is because Mount Dora Art Festival is very popular with locals and tourists combined and it can get pretty crowded especially when the world goes back to normal. So if you are going early, it will allow you to browse through the artist's booths without feeling overcrowded or rushed. You can usually leisurely walk around and get one-on-one -on -one time with the artist if you really want to. And there are so many different booths here. The artwork at the Mount Dora Art Festival ranges from everything from sculptures, paintings, jewelry, and mixed media. And even with the smaller footprint that was featured during this year, there was still a variety of artists that were showcased. One of my favorites is Michael Gard, who makes these incredible dancing figure sculptures that are created using his unique wire weaving technique. I was able to watch him attach two sides of his sculpture together while I was there, and it is just so fascinating to watch him work. Another one of my favorite artists that are here is one that you might recognize if you've watched any of my earlier videos in 2020. Mike Williams from Blue Island Graphics is an incredibly talented artist that creates these beautiful vintage style maps and posters. So if you love the look and style of old hand-drawn maps that celebrate Florida, then you should definitely check out his website. By the way, if you are enjoying this video and find the information helpful in any way, don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help my video in the algorithm to help find more interested viewers like yourself. If you are thinking of attending, I would allocate the entire morning or afternoon there, especially if you are watching this video once the world goes back to normal. There are gonna be three times as many artists at this event, so you'll wanna give yourself enough time if you are the kind of visitor that likes to walk around and see it all. 
If you do get hungry while you're here, there are so many different options from local cafes, restaurants, and they do bring in a number of different food trucks. I am absolutely sure that you will be able to find something that will suit everyone in your party. While you're in downtown Mount Dora, make sure that you take the time to stroll through the shops. Most of the shops in Mount Dora are locally owned boutiques and there are quite a few ones that sell local goods and products that you won't be able to find anywhere else. Even though the footprint to the Mount Dora Art Festival was a lot smaller this year than it has been in previous years, the quality and the variety of artists were still there. So I know that once the world goes back to normal, it's going to continue to grow and gain more popularity as years go on. Well, I hope that you found this information helpful, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more unique things that you can do here in the state of Florida. I release a new video every week, and you'll be able to see more of it by subscribing. If you love art festivals, did you know that Disney holds one every year? I just recently did a video on it and if you're interested in seeing what an art festival would look like in a Disney World, make sure to check out this video about Epcot's Festival of the Arts which is actually still going on until the end of February. Until next time everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.